Hello everyone and welcome back to AK Academy. Here we have a fully new course with a magnificent topic. We will see within this course how we will build a desktop application that works across the platforms from Windows to Mac OS and Linux with also our favorite technology, Blazor with Elkitron this time. So, before we go ahead, let me introduce myself for you. I'm Ahmed Muzaffar, a full stack.net developer, Microsoft certified trainer. If you want to, or you can reach me on Twitter at Ahmed Muzaffar99 for any questions. And you can check my GitHub account and find all the repositories associated with this course and other courses on AK Academy slash AK Software 98. And also my website, ahmedmuzaffar.net. So, Let's just make a very quick introduction and see the course objectives uh, or the objectives for this course. Uh, basically, what is Elkitron? Actually, Elkitron is an open source software framework that allows us to build desktop applications across the platforms using the web technologies. Like uh, for JS developers, you can develop a full desktop application that works also with the native API that each operating system provides using React and Node.js, then deliver all of this as an executable package for all these platforms. And But within uh, this course, we will do the same thing, but with Blazor. So that was a very quick introduction. We will talk about all of that in details in the next video. Who is using Elkitron right now actually in the market? Why you should learn Elkitron and build desktop apps with Elkitron and Blazor? Actually, as you can see in front of you on the screen, there are very, very big names that they rebuild their apps with Elkitron. Like Microsoft Teams, Slack, Visual Studio Code, Skype, GitHub for desktop, and, okay, sorry, and other, uh, hundreds of other applications they chose Elkitron because, in this case, they have only one code base, so they can uh, concentrate only on the logic of their application, while the data processing and everything is on the cloud. So for the client application, you don't need to have multiple teams working on multiple platforms. You cannot have asynchronous updates. Uh, you cannot deliver the same features at the same time. And in addition for this, you need a huge budget. But with Elkitron, you can have only one code base that works across everything and you have access for a full native features of the operating system. So for this course, what we will learn and what we will do. First, we will start by defining how Elkitron works. Uh, then we will talk about Elkitron.net uh, with a Blazor. Then we will create our first project with Elkitron and Blazor. After that, we will see how we can deal with the OS native APIs which is the most interesting part actually about this course. You will see how we can create windows, deal with the notifications of the system, with the file system, and also see the native dialogues like message box, open file dialog, save file dialog, and others. Uh, see how we can deal with menus, uh, the menu here at the top and the context menu when you right click on the page or something like this. We can see how we can deal with the shell, for example, opening a file from your application on the file system. This is just an example, how we can capture our desktop, a tray, uh, those are the icons that are existing in the notifications panel here, and you can have icon with a context menu to do some tasks quickly from directly to your desktop. And also you see how we can use the clipboard, copy and uh, paste, write and read from the clipboard, and at the end you will see how we can retrieve the, the information of our operating system. Then we will move to another part, which is app updates how we can manage the updates of our application within uh, Blazor and Elkitron. After that, we will see the messaging between the processes. In the next video, we will talk about how Elkitron apps work and you will see the <coughs> advantages of using the messaging between the processes and Windows. Then we will see how we can package our application and deliver it to the end customers for Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Uh, after that, we will move to for maybe it's going to be another course, but uh, we will develop a real world application, which is an SQL databases explorer uh, that works fully offline on the client side for across the platforms, developing it with Blazor and Elkitron. So that was enough for the first session. 
Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to support us by hitting the like, share and the subscribe button and see you in the next video.